In Sporting News Today, Neymar faces Neymar. Jeremy Lin continues to grab headlines and break records. Juan Pablo Montoya could have injured himself. American football and the Manassas Tigers win an Oscar. And LeBron won't dunk for less than a million. Michelle Tello is a footballer's best friend. The Brazilian singer and author of hit song I Se Te Pego, whose dance was reprised by Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar, met Paris Saint-Germain players in Paris. While on a tour of France to promote his album, he attended the team's practice session with their director of football, Leonardo. After a few exercises, Michelle Tello had a quick talk with Italian coach Carlo Ancelotti. A souvenir snap in a festive atmosphere, the club didn't forget to give their guest a team jersey with a number 10 on the back, the number of stars. Michelle also stopped to chat with fellow Brazilians Marco Sierra, Maxwell and especially Nene, with whom he delivered a mini performance. One or two quick questions, his favorite player for example? For me, the best doesn't play anymore, but it's Ronaldo, Ronaldo il fenomeno. And we couldn't resist asking him how girls see his new status. I was already successful, but now even more so, that's for sure. And Michelle Tello is single, ladies, just so you know. Merci. What would a Brazil versus Brazil match look like? We now have a few clues thanks to Nike's new campaign for the Salasau's new jerseys. In this video, the two teams can be told apart from the color of their kits. The players are the same on both sides and boast some pretty big names. Neymar, Pato, Ganso and Thiago Silva face off against their clones. The presence of football legend Ronaldo and of ultimate fighter Anderson Silva doesn't hurt. One thing's for sure, Nike's new slogan seems particularly appropriate. Beat your own shadow. Yet another record for Jeremy Lin, the new star of American sport isn't just the hottest topic on social networking sites, he's also a media darling. He's just appeared for 20 days running on the cover of New York Sports Daily Newsday Sport, thus matching a record established by Tiger Woods in 2009 with his notorious affair. Lin would have no doubt broken the record if he hadn't been outshone by the New York Giants Super Bowl victory. His star status is here to stay. Juan Pablo Montoya had a narrow escape. The Colombian NASCAR driver crashed into a jet dryer after losing control of his vehicle during the Daytona 500. Luckily, no one was injured in the collision even though the pictures are truly spectacular. Montoya is known for his reckless F1 driving, looks like some habits die hard. Sport doesn't build character, sport reveals character. Such could be the tagline of Undefeated, the winner of the 2012 Oscar for Best Documentary. Daniel Lindsay and TJ Martin followed the Manassas Tigers, a struggling high school team from the north of Memphis, during the 2009 season. With the help of Bill Courtney, a devoted trainer, the team tries to turn things around. The documentary premiered early February in the United States. A sign of its success is that Diddy, already an executive producer on the project, is planning a remake of it. One oh three to go. Season comes to a close for somebody here tonight. You think football builds character? It does not. He's gonna throw it. He pulls it. Pivot. Football reveals character. This is LeBron James was yet again absent from the All-Star Game slam dunk contest this year. But his fans are optimistic. There may just be a way of making him change his mind. He declared that for $1 million, he would accept to take part in the contest. Considered one of the best dunkers of the NBA, LeBron said that when the contest rolled in every year, he was hesitant to participate and always ended up backing out. He also admitted that the event didn't really appeal to him and wasn't his thing. But who wouldn't be tempted to give it a shot for $1 million?